Hey guys, how you doing? This is a uh, video to show you the difference between the lytic and lysogenic cycles uh, of how bacteriophages can reproduce. Um, just remember that this process, or both these processes, have only to do with bacteriophages, which is viruses that attack bacteria. Um, it doesn't happen in animal viruses like the flu and other things. So basically, um, to kind of give you a sense of what's going on here. We see that here we have a bacteria. So this is the bacteria right here, and this is the chromosome of the bacteria, and this would be a bacteriophage. This is the virus that attacks the bacteria. So if we kind of see what's going to go on here, um, this particular virus is going to, as you can see, inject its DNA um, into the actual bacteria. And so now this bacteria has its own DNA and it has the DNA from the actual uh, bacteria. And so if we see what happens from this point on, we'll now see that the host DNA has been destroyed. The base of the phage DNA, the genes in the phage DNA directed the host DNA to fall apart. And so now the only DNA that's left in the actual bacteria is the DNA from the virus. And I'm sure you can figure out what's going to happen from this point on. Um, now, of course, the, the ribosomes of the bacteria are going to be um, producing proteins. These proteins are viral proteins, and as you can tell here, um, the phage DNA is going to now code for the production of more viruses, and of course now these viruses are going to at some point um, explode from the cell, and that is basically the lytic cycle, and of course lytic means to lyse or it means to cut or break open. Um, so this results in the destruction of the bacteria. And that is basically the lytic cycle. So now we're going to go through the lysogenic cycle. So now this is the lysogenic cycle. And this uh, differs in a couple ways, and I'll talk about them after. Um, so the first part of this is the same, that basically a virus is going to attack the bacteria. And so what they didn't show here is that the virus would have landed here. It would have incorporated its DNA exactly the same as it did in the lytic cycle. But here's now the difference. In the lysogenic cycle, we see that instead of the DNA from the virus destroying the host DNA, it actually integrates itself into the chromosome of the host DNA. So now the difference is that, you know, there is no destruction yet. So the beautiful thing for the virus is that, well, basically, you know, it's not going to be making a lot of its babies, for lack of a better word, um, or offspring immediately, but this cell is going to start to divide, and it's going to divide zillions of times and every time it divides you can see that little teeny piece of DNA from the phage um, is going to, it's basically referred to as prophage DNA, is going to be carried from generation to generation. So now you have potentially millions if not hundreds of millions of bacteria that all have this little piece of viral DNA. So at some point when this host cell um, becomes either um, stressed or exposed to you know, ultraviolet light or some kind of chemicals, a system called phage induction happens. And basically what happens, you'll see here that that little piece of viral DNA pops out and now basically the cell goes through the lytic cycle. So the second half of the lysogenic cycle is basically the lytic cycle. So what's going to happen? It's going to destroy the host DNA, it's going to start making the proteins, and there we go. So the difference between these uh, systems is that in the lysogenic cycle, um, the chromosome or the a nuclear DNA material from the virus incorporates into the actual phage DNA um, and is carried generation to generation. So the bacteria doesn't make it, or the virus does not make as many offspring as quickly, but it is incorporated its DNA into many, many more cells, and thus giving the ability to potentially make much more offspring over a longer period of time. And so uh, that is basically the difference between the lytic and lysogenic, and I hope you uh, enjoyed it.